This is where it gets controversial, but we need to start talking about this, the bioethics of it. What do we do with somebody who's unvaccinated, who's taking advanced ICU therapies from somebody who is vaccinated in the hospital? Did you smoke? Did you drink recently? If you did, you're lower on the list, even if you need it. The most vaccinated company in America is Fox News. They're all vaccinated. They're going to live through this and let their viewers and their fans right. die because they don't give a damn. Thousands of people are supposed to die to, to undermine Joe Biden and help it's the sad. Republicans. It's, That's about yeah. it's getting. It's what they think. The yeah, they're like, let them die. If it, if it gets them power again, they're let as many people die as, as, as they're going to die. They don't care. Right. When that other party has made the conscious decision to make itself a criminal organization, to make itself a, an organization that harbors domestic terrorism, an organization devoted to ending democracy as you know it, it's kind of our last stand here, Joy, because I'll tell you, if Republicans get back the reins of power, in the 2022 elections, in the 2024 election, they will never relinquish it again. We are seeing the extraordinary lengths to which Republicans are willing to go to throw out a free and fair election in 2020. If we let them back in the driver's seat of democracy, it's over. I know just off the top of my head, at least a half dozen people who've gotten COVID, who are vaccinated, but who got it in settings where they were around mixed groups. So the unvaccinated are spreading this thing and it's mutating let's be frank, because of the unvaccinated, okay? Well, it's a frightening moment for our democracy because it's rigging the system before our very eyes right now. And I'm definitely afraid for our troops. I'm definitely afraid for our democracy. We'll begin the readout tonight with a warning. This could be it. We may be in the waning years of America as a democracy. I know, I know, I know. That sounds like hyperbole. As the only party left that actually supports democracy, it's incumbent that Democrats prevent that outcome. Because Republican victories in 2022 and 2024 could literally mean the end of free elections. There is this sort of aspect to the Republican Party now where it is a full on cult now. Do you think the Democrats are, are, are afraid enough? Because I see them out there arguing over whether it's going to be another billion here, another billion there on their bill. Like that's going to matter if we don't have a democracy. Like everybody is in on the joke except for the gullible white supremacist viewers of Fox News. It's hard for me to talk about because as a black man, I don't got family that watch that channel, right? I don't have family that like, you know, buys into the white supremacist rhetoric that that channel puts out. But a lot of y'all white people do. We're marching towards an inevitable situation where an election is going to happen. These, these fools, these people are going to show up with guns armed trying to intimidate voters. Um, I just want to know what the breaking point is for particularly the media class here in Washington to start identifying the Republican Party for what it is, which is an anti-democratic racist force in America. And every time that we excuse the Republican Party's ways and try to normalize them, we are helping and aiding and abetting them in their effort to try to take out democracy.